Hi there, Leo. Welcome to your April 2024 general tarot reading. It's Rena here. Um, let's see, I'm just going to pick an additional card. Okay. So. Um, how many <laughs> of you are in a relationship with two people at once? I'm not saying that everyone would be. Um, Or actually, this can also be connected to career matters because the wands can be careers. Wands are fire energy, which has to do with, you know, the three fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. But in a broader sense, your autonomy, your freedom, your freedom to, you know, do what you want to do, call your own shots. And if that, if that has to do with working for somebody else, maybe that's it. Leo is the leader. Leo is a natural leader, but a leader doesn't have to just have their own business. They might work for somebody else, but they're in the management positions. Um, you know, things like that, where they, they're in these kinds of, um, positions where, where they're doing stuff like that. Um, so the heart of the matter is the seven of wands. And this is a card of, you see the, she's in her little pink bubble. That is something in the new age movement. They say, you know, imagine yourself in a, you're protected, you know, in your pink bubble. Seven of Wands is standing your ground. It's a, this is a totally different vibe than the Rider Waite deck, which shows somebody with a wand, almost like a, a weapon that they are using in case somebody tries to attack them. But that's really what it's all about. It's really about being on the defensive sometimes. And, you know, sometimes people are on the defensive because they're being manipulated to be based on the job environment, which is really like a uh, dog eat dog environment, not the ideal work environment by any stretch of the imagination. But that's what people sometimes have to contend with. And you might feel like you can't, um, feel respected in that environment. It might be very toxic. Um, and it doesn't really work with a Leo because Leos tend to be confident. So if you get like a lot of criticism from a higher up, you're more likely to think, well, this person's obviously jealous of me, envious. And, and, you know, you kind of brush it off and you may, it, because Leo's a fixed sign, you may stay there because you just don't want to have to go out and get another job. But it's not necessarily the best situation. In the past position, we have the two of wands. And this is a card of like, in some cases, choosing between two types of uh, careers. Um, and it might be that there is something else that is calling to you, but it's also a card of, should I stay or should I go? Um, and I did get the, I picked a clarification card. I got the, the six of one of, of swords and that can mean going like if it is, if you get a job offer and maybe it's like overseas, 
and you're like, oh, wow, that's really far away. If you are in an environment that's seven of wands, you may jump at this chance because you might feel like, hey, it'll get me out of this toxic situation. The higher message is the king of swords. I would say like um, if this is a relationship issue and you're wondering whether you should leave that relationship, the king of swords is asking you to not have this sentimental thing that holds you back to be very, very mental or logical about it. Uh, Leo has a big heart. Leo rules the heart. And so Leo people tend to have big hearts. You might have inner planets as a sun in Leo in cancer, which can make you very nostalgic and prone to uh, romanticize situations that aren't really as great as you see them. Maybe you see things with rose colored glasses sometimes in retrospect that aren't really that way. So you have to, um, yeah, as a matter of fact, <laughs> the card that crosses you is the two of pentacles. And that can be specifically two different jobs and it can be a job overseas. So this may be something, especially if it's overseas, which may be really bothering you. I think in general, anytime, like if you have two offers, um, I mean, well, it doesn't have to be two offers, but you have an offer or an option to go somewhere else, kind of upsetting or uh, risking your current environment like you know you could say the devil you know in a situation may not be something that you really like to do because you may feel very uncomfortable about it you may feel like what if it's worse than what i'm dealing with but the thing is is that um i personally think that in some cases especially if you're already unhappy that it, it probably will not be worse than your current situation. There's probably a reason why you're feeling dissatisfaction where you are right now. And that's because the universe may be prodding you to, to, to take that uh, chance. But you may be torn, like I said. What's coming in is the Queen of Cups. This is about accessing your intuitive gifts, not just, you know, the King of Swords might be more of that sheer logic, but you also have to tune into it. And also um, the queen represents the water element and the cups represents water. They're both, that's the suit of the tarot and the cups are the, you know, um, that's part of uh, uh, one of the four uh, elements themselves. So this is a very intuitive card. Um, and this is something that I, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh yeah, everything is intuition. I think you have to also, you know, be logical about things, but I, I think one without the other is incomplete. And to, this is really about how something feels. Something can feel uncomfortable and still be right. But if you know that something is off, misaligned, then that means that uh, maybe it isn't the right choice for you. There's a difference between discomfort can just come from growth. Okay, my, my, <laughs> my memory is almost limited, so I better just get going here. The outcome is the death card, which is also rebirth. This card is connected to Scorpio. Um, Scorpio is the fourth house of home and family. Maybe this is later this year. Maybe it's some kind of a, no, actually there's a full moon in Scorpio in April. Yeah, I did have to delete some, uh, old, uh, videos. Uh, yeah, the, the full moon is April 23rd. So that might be some kind of, that, you know, that's in April. Um, that might be something where something is ending for you on the home front. Uh, you know, if you're moving, <laughs> you could be moving 
far away. And then I picked a, an additional card. I got the Six of Swords. This is moving from conflict and choosing peace. But this can be physical relocation. So that might go with the ending of a full moon in the fourth house of home and family. But um, also death, you know, is about transformation, it's rebirth. And so certainly that can be, you have a lot going on in that house of Scorpio, um, Leo. You have, uh, you have, you have uh, um, Saturn there, Neptune there. And this is something that sometimes people have to face endings that they were trying to, 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 to hold off on or that they weren't willing to kind of like deal with if that was already a death in your life that was very significant that you kind of like shoved under the rug. That can also be something that is a theme. It's a shadow. You know, that's what the eighth house is all about. But the, but the six of swords, I mean, some of this really can speak to you being, you know, like the queen of cups being guided by something other than the intellect and guided maybe to move to a certain place, to choose a certain type of career, to choose a, a certain type of relationship or leave a certain type of relationship. All right, that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.